Hello friends and welcome to my channel. In this video, we will be learning about the anatomy of the femoral artery. To begin with, this diagram shows the anterior superficial view of the right lower limb showing its arterial system. The femoral artery is the chief artery of the lower limb as you can see right here. Looking at its origin, the femoral artery is a continuation of the external iliac artery and it begins behind the inguinal ligament at its mid-inguinal point as you can see right here. Next let's understand the extent and course of the femoral artery through this simplified diagram. So the femoral artery passes downwards and medially first in the femoral triangle and then in the adductor canal as you can see here the femoral artery in the femoral triangle and in the adductor canal. Now at the lower end of the adductor canal that is at the junction of the middle and lower thirds of this thigh right here it passes through an opening in the adductor magnus muscle to become continuous with the popliteal artery as you can see right here. So this is the tendinous opening in the adductor magnus muscle through which the femoral artery passes to become continuous with the popliteal artery right here. Concising the important points that we learned till now, the femoral artery is the chief artery of the lower limb. Looking at its origin, it is a continuation of the external iliac artery. It begins behind the inguinal ligament at the mid-inguinal point. Under the extent and course of the femoral artery, we learn that it passes downwards and medially first in the femoral triangle and then in the adductor canal. At the lower end of the adductor canal, that is at the junction of the middle and lower thirds of the thigh, it passes through an opening in the adductor magnus to become continuous with the popliteal artery. Next, let's learn about the relations of the femoral artery in the femoral triangle through this diagram. So here you can see the femoral artery. In order to look at its anterior relations, let's consider a lateral cross section of the femoral artery. So we have the anterior aspect and this is the posterior aspect. This is the femoral artery. So the anterior relations include first is the skin right here. Then comes the superficial fascia, the deep fascia and the anterior wall of the femoral sheath right here. Looking at the posterior relations of the femoral artery, we have the psoas major muscle, the pectineus muscle that you see right here, the adductor longus muscle right here and the posterior wall of the femoral sheath that intervenes between these structures and the artery. The femoral artery is related medially to the femoral vein that you see in blue right here. Just below the inguinal ligament, the femoral vein is medial to the artery as you can see right here. The vein gradually crosses to the lateral side to lie posterior to the femoral artery. It is directly behind the artery at the apex of the femoral triangle. Now laterally, the femoral artery is related to the femoral nerve that you see in yellow right here. The femoral nerve is lateral to the upper part of the artery. Lower down, the artery is related to the branches of the nerve as you can see right here. Now before moving on to the branches of the femoral artery, let's concise what we learnt under the relations of the femoral artery in the femoral triangle. Anteriorly, the femoral artery is related to the skin, the superficial fascia, deep fascia and anterior wall of the femoral sheath. Posteriorly, it is related to the psoas major, pectineus muscle, the adductor longus and the posterior wall of the femoral sheath that intervenes between these structures and the femoral artery. Now medially, just below the inguinal ligament, the femoral vein is medial to the artery. The vein gradually crosses to the lateral side to lie posterior to the artery and it is directly behind the artery at the apex of the femoral triangle. Looking at the lateral relations, the femoral nerve is lateral to the upper part of the artery. Lower down, the artery is related to the branches of the femoral nerve. Next, let's learn about the branches of the femoral artery. The femoral artery gives off three superficial and three deep branches. The superficial branches are the superficial external pudendal artery that you see right here. Then comes the superficial epigastric artery right here and the superficial circumflex iliac artery that you see right here. The deep branches include the profunda femoris artery, 
the deep external pudendal artery and the muscular branches. Now let's learn about the profunda femoris artery also called the deep femoral artery in detail through this diagram. So here you can see this is the external iliac artery, this is the inguinal ligament, here is the femoral artery and here we have the deep femoral artery or the profunda femoris artery. So this is the largest branch of the femoral artery as you can see here. It is the chief artery of supply to all the three compartments of the thigh. So this is a zoomed in view. Here you can see the profunda femoris arises from the lateral side of the femoral artery about 4 cm below the inguinal ligament. The origin lies in front of the iliacus muscle. Here is the iliacus muscle and the origin takes place right here. And as the artery descends downwards, it passes posterior to the femoral vessels. Now it leaves the femoral triangle by passing deep to the adductor longus muscle. Here you can see this is the adductor longus. So it passes deep to the adductor longus muscle. Now continuing downwards, it passes first between the adductor longus muscle and the adductor brevis muscle as you can see here. And then it passes between the adductor longus and the adductor magnus muscle as you can see right here. So finally, its terminal part pierces the adductor magnus muscle to anastomose with the upper muscular branches of the popliteal artery. Now the profunda femoris artery gives off medial and lateral circumflex femoral arteries. So here you can see the medial circumflex femoral artery and here is the lateral circumflex femoral artery. So first looking at the medial circumflex femoral artery, it leaves the femoral triangle by passing posteriorly between the pectineus and psoas major muscles. It gives an acetabular branch and divides into an ascending and transverse branches. And it mainly supplies the adductor muscles and the head of the femur. Now looking at the lateral circumflex femoral artery, it runs laterally between the anterior and posterior div divisions of the femoral nerve and it passes behind the sartorius and rectus femoris muscles. Here you can see the rectus femoris and it divides into ascending, transverse and descending branches. Here is the ascending, transverse and the descending branch. The ascending branch runs deep to the tensor fascia latte. It gives branches to the hip joint and the greater trochander and anastomosis with the superior gluteal artery. The transverse branch pierces the vastus lateralis muscle and finally the descending branch runs down along the anterior border of the vastus lateralis muscle as you can see right here. Concising the important points that we learnt under the branches of the femoral artery, the femoral artery gives off three superficial and three deep branches in the femoral triangle. The superficial branches include the superficial external pudendal, the superficial epigastric and the superficial circumflex iliac arteries. The superficial external pudendal supplies the skin of the external genital organs. The superficial epigastric supplies the skin and fascia of the lower part of the anterior abdominal wall and finally the superficial circumflex iliac supplies the skin along the iliac crest. Now, the deep branches include the profunda femoris, the deep external pudendal and the muscular branches. The profunda femoris or the deep femoral artery is the largest branch of the femoral artery. It is the chief artery of supply to all the three compartments of the thigh. It arises from the lateral side of the femoral artery about 4 cm below the inguinal ligament. The origin lies in front of the iliacus muscle and as the artery descends it passes posterior to the femoral vessels. It leaves the femoral triangle by passing deep to the adductor longus muscle. Continuing downwards, it passes first between the adductor longus and the adductor brevis muscle and then between the adductor longus and the adductor magnus muscle. Its terminal part pierces the adductor magnus to anastomose with the upper muscular branches of the popliteal artery. Now the profunda femoris artery gives off the medial and lateral circumflex femoral arteries and three perforating arteries. It ends itself as the fourth perforating artery. Now the medial circumflex femoral artery leaves the femoral triangle by passing posteriorly between the pectineus muscle and the psoas major muscles. It gives an acetabular branch and divides into an ascending and transverse branches. 
It supplies mainly the adductor muscles and the head of the femur. Now, the lateral circumflex femoral artery runs laterally between the anterior and posterior divisions of the femoral nerve. It passes behind the sartorius muscle and the rectus femoris and divides into ascending, transverse and descending branches. Looking at the ascending branch, it runs deep to the tensor fascia lata and gives branches mainly to the hip joint and the greater trochanter. Now looking at the transverse branch, it pierces the vastus lateralis muscle. The descending branch runs down along the anterior border of the vastus lateralis muscle, accompanied by the nerve to that muscle. Demonstrating the deep femoral artery and its branches in this diagram, here we have the profunda femoris artery, its two branches that is the lateral circumflex femoral artery and the medial circumflex femoral artery along with the first to fourth perforating arteries. Now next we have the deep external pudendal artery that you see right here. This is a branch of the femoral artery that passes deep to the spermatic cord or the round ligament of the uterus. Finally, there are the muscular branches that is the numerous muscular branches arise from the femoral and the profunda femoris artery that supply the muscles of the thigh. Concising the points under the deep external pudendal and the muscular branches, the deep external pudendal artery is the branch of the femoral artery that passes deep to the spermatic cord or the round ligament of the uterus and, it's, and supplies the scrotum or the labium majus. Now the muscular branches include the ones that arise from the femoral and profunda femoris artery or its branches in order to supply the muscles of the thigh. Now looking at the clinical anatomy of the femoral artery, the femoral artery can be compressed at the mid inguinal point against the head of the femur or against the superior ramus of the pubis to control bleeding from the distal part of the limb in the thigh or the leg. Now the pulsations of the femoral artery can be felt at the mid inguinal point against the head of the femur and the tendon of the psoas major muscle. A bilateral absence or feebleness of the femoral pulse may result from conditions like the coarctation or the narrowing of the aorta or if there is any presence of thrombosis. Concising the points under the clinical anatomy of the femoral artery, the femoral artery can be compressed at the mid inguinal point against the head of the femur or against the superior ramus of the pubis to control bleeding from the distal part of the limb in the thigh or the leg. Then the pulsations of the femoral artery can be felt at the mid inguinal point against the head of the femur and the tendon of the psoas major. A bilateral absence or feebleness of the femoral pulse may result from the coactation or narrowing of the aorta or due to thrombosis. I hope you found this video helpful. To get the notes of femoral artery as well as other notes of anatomy, physiology, biomechanics and other health science subjects, visit my website www.angelinaisaac.com, the link to which was given in the description below. To get updates on my latest videos, click on the subscribe button. To get notifications, tap on the bell icon. Thank you for watching.